that family told us they don't know what they're going to do when they get to Dallas, but they do say they think they're going to stay in Dallas and not come back to Port Arthur and face more flooding. Brooke and Roxana. Anna, it is good to see some smiles in the midst of disaster. Um, you mentioned some shelters had to be evacuated because of the water outages there in Beaumont. How many people are we talking about? And is that number expected to rise? So they had uh, some 1,500 people, they say, who have been evacuated from this airport on these airplanes. Uh, part of the reason for that is they were going to try to evacuate people on buses. They tried to take them to San Antonio, but the road was deemed to be too flooded, and they had to turn around and come back. That means that those 570 people, it was about 10 o'clock this morning, had to wait in buses. Some people are still waiting here in buses to be evacuated. And the shelters, they can't operate without water. That's a health and safety issue. It, you know, you have bottled water for drinking, but there's no toilets, there's no place to wash hands. There's a chance there that you could have disease, viruses, or infection growing. It's just not a sanitary uh, condition. So the Red Cross shelters, other uh, independent shelters, there are about 17 in the Beaumont Port, Port Arthur area. Um, in Beaumont, particularly, is where the water problem are. The other shelters, they are going to also try to get some of those people out of there, but it's not as urgent as here. We do know there's another, earlier today, there was roughly another 500 people in the Red Cross shelters. That doesn't include the independent shelters, though. You, you talk about the challenges of even getting the people out, and so I wonder about the challenges of getting supplies in and what the calculus looks like in terms of how many people are trapped there and how much uh, in the way of supplies they have. Well, there is a route, we used it to come in. You have to go through some water on Route 90, Highway 90. Uh, there are people who are going out that route. In fact, I saw somebody post on Twitter that, hey, if you're heading out 90, be prepared. We've been going, you know, five miles an hour for an hour and a half. So there's a lot of people thinking, okay, the road is good now, I can make it out. Uh, but we've still, we're still hearing that supplies uh, are not necessarily making it in. That's probably because of the kind of truck they're on and whether that truck can brave a flooded spot in the road, which is pretty bad. Um, and, and there's not enough food here because there's no grocery stores open, no restaurants open. You can't have any of those open with no water anyway, but the supply trucks are not getting in. So what you're seeing around Beaumont now is very long lines for bottled water because people are, are completely running out of water now. And there's people who are trying to get food. And the donations, they're starting to set up centers where people can go to pick up those food and water items. But of course, the lines, some of them are miles long with people waiting for food and water. Okay, Anna Werner on the tarmac in Beaumont, Texas. Thanks, Anna.